What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and I've reached a new low. I am now down to S rank 134. Uh, that is not so good. Um, so I'm just gonna have some fun now. Uh, I did go ahead and buy six more spirit orbs because I had 600 gold, um, and I didn't really get anything too special. I got a bunch of epics, but no legendaries, and. Now that I'm ranked so poorly, I just feel more comfortable just playing. Um, I don't always feel like I have to win the games. Um, I'm not ranked that highly. I'm not putting as much pressure and stress on myself. So that is like a little better, I guess. And who knows, maybe I'll go on a huge win streak and I can get to the top 50. But uh, that looks pretty slim at this point. Here I will... What do I want to do here? I can go Saber Spine Tiger. Blitzer Alchemist. I can go. I should probably place this. I don't. I can't play it yet. Crystal Cloaker, Crystal Cloaker, but they don't have high enough attack yet. Um, I think I would like to Saber Spine Tiger, right? Do I even play the Blitzer Alchemist? Probably not. Like, what's the point? Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna save my tiger. Just destroy that. And I'm not gonna get the middle mana. That that mana spring. Maybe I would have played the Blitzer Alchemist if I wasn't playing Kara, but knowing that I'm playing Kara, uh, it'd be better if I had a kinetic surge with it. Promise fist? Okay, fine. Now uh, I can play stuff. So, let's play the Blood Tier Alchemist. I don't really need this, do I? This is for when you have, like, an empty action bar and need to fill it up, but mine is pretty full right now. Okay, so let's do one damage to that. Kill it. And I have four mana left, so I guess I'm going to Snow Chaser Spell Jammer. I could actually play two Crystal Cloakers, but the reason I'm going to do Snow Chaser Spell Jammer is because I want as many cards in my hand, and this way, and he can't do any Holy Emulation stuff, so I don't have to worry about that this turn. So I do have Infiltrate, I play Spell Jammer here, and Snow Chaser here, because next turn, ideally, I can have my Snow Chaser attack and die, so I can gain another, uh, card in my hand because I want to have as big a hand as possible for when I play my um, what's it called my kinetic surge Arclight Regalia well that's kind of annoying he gets rid of my spell jammer right away and now uh, let's see do I replace anything probably not I should keep this Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. So let's go ahead and kinetic surge. Oh, I messed up. That was a misplay. I was supposed to attack with my snow chaser first. That was a mistake. Now let's, uh, let's see. I can play some stuff here. Oh, I'll go ahead and attack this. Yeah, I get it back, but the thing is now, like, it doesn't have the infiltrate anymore. I mean, it doesn't have the, uh... I would, it would have been a 3-2 right now instead. Okay, let's try to just knock down his... Oh, I guess I'll play this again with the infiltrate. Let's see, a two, a two, and hit that. Sure, I guess that works. I mean, he can just kind of move away right now, though, out of my infiltrated uh, dudes, which would be kind of annoying. So I assume he's going to walk towards me. Is the right lion? <laughs> he doesn't really. Oh, holy emulation, I can kill those. Uh, 
Okay, so we are a bit on our back foot here. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the snow chaser. Hearth sister. Eh. I'll go ahead and play the Fenwell War Master here. And spell jammer down here. Hopefully it doesn't have another holy immolation. Draw a couple cards. Next turn, I will be able to do another one of the uh, kinetic surges. All right, that and Aegis Barrier means I can't play like chromatic gold on it. So that's going to be tough for me to deal with. Finally, the Arclight Regality is gone, but I'm still on my back foot. What I can do is use Hearth Sister to move this away, but it's not like I can air. I can't just airdrop this across the board. That would actually be the play after I play Ash Method. So, um, I want to play Ash Method before I do the Kinetic Surge, though. Let's get rid of the Snow Chaser. Um, okay, so Kinetic Surge. Then I'll play the Ash Method, right? Ah, I can't play the Hearth Sister with it, though. That's the issue. Like, I mean, I, I lose the game if he has a uh, divine divine bond, so whatever. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna play the Ash Method. And I'll attack this so I don't 100% lose with a divine bond. We'll see, that would have 11, and then actually that would kill it. Let's play Bloodsir Alchemist, so I don't 100% lose. I'll play it here and just damage this by one. Okay. I mean, he's still probably going to be able to win this turn. Not probably. He might. He really doesn't have a chance unless he has a Divine Bond. Otherwise, uh, could get interesting because I have a lot more minions on the board with him than him right now. He really only has one threat in the board. He does have five cards in his hand, so I don't really know what he has up his sleeve. I'm considering taking out these uh, Fenrir War Masters on my deck. They just seem a little... Um, you do get like almost two minions out of them, but two minions that aren't that good. They're easy, easily dispelled, and I don't know. The thing is, you want to pack as many minions as you can into these decks. Oh, okay, well, Divine Bond, and that's GG. wonder what he has now. I guess he doesn't have Divine Bond. I'm sure he would have won the game by now. Oh, he could do that, which gives, now he has 7 attack on me. Does he have anything to give you plus, plus 2? No, he doesn't. That's the right line. Okay. So, let's see, um, let's get rid of the Snow Chaser again, we're not in infiltrate territory. Another Ash Method. What if I hit this with as many things as I could, I can do four, eight, okay, well, I think I have to move this out of the way right now. That's something I need to do. So I will play this all the way back back here, I guess, or back here. Back here, I think, is the play. Okay, so I'll switch that places with this. And now I can move two in there. Kill that. 
two down. Oh, that's provoked. I can't do anything with that. Um, play one of these dudes. Move in, attack. Move back. I'm gonna hold off on playing the other one. I have kinetic surge next turn, so I can get a bunch of ash, pretty good ash methods again. See how this goes. Maybe I should have just played the Fenrir War Master. I don't know. Well, we're at that part of the game now where every turn I can cast Kinetic Surge. I actually wonder, was I able to play it? Oh, that was a perfect holy emulation for him. It's so hard to play around now later in the game. Really is. And we are back on our back foot. I'm gonna get rid of the Fenrir War Master. So can I surge? What I can do is play Saber Spine Tiger before attack. And three health. That would kill that. And then play the Ash Methods. Or do I want to make them bigger? Making them bigger is a greedy play. Dancing Blades, though, next turn is probably what I need to do because. You know, I can actually do this this turn. I'll do the Saber Sun Tiger and Dancing Blades this turn. So I will move up. Saber Sun Tiger. Dancing Blades destroys finally his golem. And then I have uh, three big units that he has nothing besides the general. Um, I still think I am not in the lead here because he has five cars in hand. And I also have a little health of my general, but this isn't the worst thing in the world. Like, next turn, I do have a sworn sister who can just draw me a bunch of cards unfortunately I can't play sworn sister with ash method and my bloodborne spell that would be 10 mana I really wanted to play my bloodborne spell and my ash method though so I guess that's not gonna happen next turn because I think it's more important I fill up my hand right now now a big question is do I play the bloodborne spell before or after I play the Sworn Sister? To make her a 3-5 or make whatever she draws potentially a little stronger? Not sure. Because what if she draws two spells and then it's better to just do it first? Well, Nanger is thinking. Um, I guess I have to watch out for some lethal stuff. He, I mean, from playing Lionar myself and my decks, like the maximum output damage I can do in a turn is usually around, like, uh, Usually around nine damage. So that means I mean he could win right now with a Saber Spine Tiger, a Divine Bond, because then he just plays Bloodborne Spell on it and attack with General Two, and that'd be a total of nine damage. Is he gonna run out of time and do nothing this turn? Or did I lose connection or something? That was weird. Um I feel kinda bad that that happened, but I mean I have to take advantage of it, I guess. I'll go ahead and play this. Let's see what I get now. Aspect of the mountains. Any minions of five five seismic elements. This does not work, right? You don't get to go to ten mana. I don't think you get to go to ten mana. I'm gonna get rid of the aspect of the mountains though. Okay, so now I will play kinetic surge and another sworn sister. And Mark of Solitude and Crystal Cloaker. Okay. He actually should have kept that six cost spell, looking back. Uh just in case he has some Savior Spine Tiger plays, I'm just gonna stay a little farther back. And Yeah. 
move back, actually. Let's move all the way back. Your turn. Weird, I wonder if he was just away from his com computer there. Alex Stormblade, and he's gonna run away. Now, let's draw Chromatic Cold, please. Too bad we couldn't draw one with our... Uh, now I wish I had my, that six cost card at this turn so I could just play that on that. Let's get rid of our... Ugh. It's annoying. Let's get rid of a Crystal Cloaker. Actually, the Crystal Wisp. Okay, well, I'll start by doing this. Need big minions, and first I have to get rid of this. So I'll deal four damage to it's gonna go down to three health, and then I can finish it off with with the what? I'd have to use this to destroy it, which is kind of annoying. But what else is there to do? Let's go ahead and deal four damage. Draw that thing. Now I will kill it. Go forward to that. Kill that. I'm gonna play the Ash method now. And stay as far as away as I can from the field. Oh my god, that was the has to be the luckiest Ash method spawn in history. I put it right there and it just surrounds his general. That was such a lucky Ash Method song. Yeah, he just surrenders. That was... I guess I was more ahead of that game than I felt like. I always felt scared because I had low health in my general. But Lionar is not that unpredictable. Just his holy emulations you gotta look out for. Um, so... That, uh, I guess I didn't need to be that worried. Okay, I went from 134 to 130 for that win. You see, it's really hard to just get back to where I was at 12. I'm, no, I'm just not going to get back there this month, and there's only about like a week or a little more than a week left of the month, so who knows. Maybe I can go on a huge run and get to the 50, but I doubt it. I'm just going to have some fun, maybe uh, try to make some more decks, disenchant some of the new cards I just got, and play some Gauntlet, because I know that's a good way to get Spirit. So that is, uh, you know what, I can fit another game in. I thought I wasn't able to fit another game in, but I can. We're only at 18 minutes. The video might end up being over 30 minutes long, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going first. We can play two drop. Uh, I like to keep. We don't need Ash Method just yet. We'll get rid of one of the Saber Spines. Okay. We're playing S rank number 75. So somebody who's ranked better than us. Um, See how we do against them. Move up to uh, Chromatic Cold. Don't know what he's going to be able to play just yet. I guess he could play some Death Watch thing in the corner, so maybe I should keep this. Blizzard Alchemist very good against Swarm of Vissian because it, just playing it destroys a Wraith Wing. I'll get rid of the. Chromatic Gold. He didn't play anything I needed to spell yet, so. And look, I drew something that can dispel things. It's always good to have minions in your hand uh, with Kara because you want to get that maximum potential kinetic surge. Gloom Chaser. And what's he gonna do? Wraithling Swarm? Develop the board in the first turn? Jaxi. Okay. So. I can play Blood Tear Alchemist. Well, I want to play the Spelljammer, I think. So, Spelljammer, Blood Tear Alchemist would. I'd kill this, and I'd have a 50% chance. Actually, more than 50%, because then I could just move up and play. Okay, I'm going to kill this with a, spell, a Blood Tear Alchemist right now. And I actually have a 75% chance to be able to kill the ranged minion at spawn, so let's see what happens. 
Not in this corner. I can kill it anywhere besides that corner. Yes. Okay. Because even if it comes on in this top right corner, I can move forward to with my general and then play the Saber Spine Tiger to go in and kill it, and the Saber Spine Tiger wouldn't even die. But now we have options. Um, I'm going to actually get rid of the Ephemeral Shroud. No, I should probably keep the Ephemeral Shroud. So I want to move back with my general? I guess so. Yeah, I don't want to move this out. Get this guy infiltrated. And I'm gonna actually going to deal 4 damage there and play the spell damage up over here. Don't want it, like, dying. Okay. Maybe I should have just destroyed the Gloom Chaser with my Crystal Cloaker. But I don't know. I felt a little greedy there. Wanted to get, wanted to get an infiltrate attack on the on the general. Maybe a mistake. Hopefully, it doesn't come back to bite me. Next turn, I will have access to my Bloodborne spell for the first time. Uh, so this card, I might just take out of the deck for Spirit of the Wild. I have not used it yet. I guess it's like a good end game card. But I found that once you have board control with this deck with a lot of big minions, it's over anyways. So maybe I'll just take it out. Could you always use it to disenchant. Gotta disenchant the epic cards and legendary cards to what to get what you need because disenchanting anything less rare than an uh, epic or legendary really does not get you a lot. Okay, he's gonna kill it with his general. Okay, so I mean that uh that crystal cloaker ended up doing eight damage to uh his face, so. Not too bad. Wraithling swarms. I have to get a little worried now because I don't know like what he has. Okay, he probably has some big death watch thing in his hand right now because there's a lot on the board. Sorry about that. Um and I'm just gonna hold on to this Ephemeral Shroud right now then because Death Watch thing could be dispelled. Get rid of the Spirit of the Wild. Unfortunately don't get a minion, but I'm gonna play the uh I'm gonna play the Bloodborne spell now. So I can get a 4-3 Saber Spine Tiger. And I guess that's gonna be the play. So I'll just go here. Kill that. I'm not gonna deal face damage right now. Because I've noticed, like. Let's leave this back here, I guess. I've noticed that. Whenever I try to. Go for a lot of damage with my general early in the game playing Kara, I lose just to general, general damage on my own. Because they call this Kara deck aggro aggressive because it's all those like the play style is aggressive you play a lot of minions but it really doesn't win a lot faster than a lot of other decks you still need to get to like the mid late game okay so that's gonna get pretty big um maybe i shouldn't have gone forward with my general there but he is gonna get to what nine attack there and he's gonna be able to deal nine damage to my general like that. Um, and I'm sure he's gonna play a couple more wraithlings. Okay, well, now I'm down to eleven health. I do have ephemeral shroud, so I can just go ahead and dispel that. And now, then I'll have. Three mana left. I can play Fenrir Warmaster. I can play Saber Spine Tiger. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the Fenrir Warmaster. Ash Method. Okay. So now I'm going to.
Move back a couple. Up to play the shroud. Dispel that thing. It dies. Then I can. I'm gonna try to destroy his wraithlings. And I can play the uh, Saber Spine Tiger. And I'm feeling pretty safe now. Fill up my hand again. So definitely a very good uh, turn to um, follow up his massive damage turn where he took my general down to 11 health. Next turn, I'll have 6 mana, so I could go for a Kinetic Surge and play one of these Ash Methods. Uh, it would only be one Kinetic Surge on them, so they'd be 3 4s. Or. Not knowing what he's going to play this turn, um, Hearth Sister or Chromatic Coals could always save my butt. We don't know what he's going to play, though. Or if you play something really threatening, I might just have to provoke it with a Promise Shield Master, which will be pretty big next turn. It'll be a 5-8. So we will see. And we got our Dispel in our hand. So we're pretty well equipped in our action bar right now to combat uh, most of what he can put down this coming turn. He does have five cards in his hand, so I, it's not like I'm completely uh, safe. But I don't know. We'll see how this goes. And he's running out of time, so I'm not sure if he's thinking of a big good play or he doesn't have much to play, so he's just deciding what bad play to choose. Demonic Lure. Is he going to try to kill that right now? He's going to put it over there. Okay, that shows me that he doesn't really have a good uh, a good play this turn. Yeah, that was a very bad play. That wasn't like a huge like, thing he did there. Like, fine, put that in the corner. So I don't really want to go for an Ash Method because this is going to survive and then I'll fill my action bar. So I want to play a couple things this turn. Um, I will... I can always part this and bring this back to the battlefield. I'll get rid of this spell jammer. I don't need another one, I don't think. Let's replace that. Play the Bloodborne spell. Now, I could just Ash Method, but then I wouldn't draw an extra card from the Spelljammer. I could Primus Shieldmaster, Snow Chaser, which is probably a better play. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm, I'm afraid of, like, those giant uh, Spectral Revenants, so I'm not going to move up with my general just yet. <coughs> Let's go like this. Snow Chaser in the Infiltrate Zone. And then Primus Shield Master here. Move in with this, and I guess I'll kill that. And move into the corner, because I'm really afraid of Special Revenants. I've lost too many games to Special Revenants. That's the uh, six attack rush minion that Abyssian has. That also, when it deals damage to a minion, it still deals to 4 damage to your general. Okay. Very well. Play your Bloodborne spell. You have 6 mana left. So, next turn, I could play one of the Ash Methods and have 4 5s come out on the board. I did draw this Cryogenesis, which could always come in handy. I have to start watching out for lethal. I don't want to miss a lethal. As of right now, we would able to be we'd able to deal uh, ten damage on his general, and um, or actually twelve damage because of this chromatic cold. Okay, well he's gonna use that to destroy my kind of shield master, which is unfortunate. And Doom Chaser. Okay, he's coming in, coming in hot. Uh. Well, I'm going to get rid of the spell jammer here. Shroud, okay. Well, I think I know the play this turn. I think it's going to be an Ash Method and a Hearth Sister. Oh, I don't even have the one more spell this turn. So the reason I'm going to play 
the hearth sister is because I can I want this uh I want this thing to die basically so, so I can replace it next turn I'll switch places with this and go ahead and destroy it with that and then I'll lose it I'll move in since this is already here I mean might as well destroy it instead of death watch being a thing and then I'll fly the ash method right here, which protects my general from that little wraithling. Let's see if I can get lucky spawns the other two. I'll take it. I got one around the area. Uh, unfortunately, I just didn't realize I didn't play enough units that turn. So I'm actually in my, I have a full hand. I would have drawn that spirit of the whatever thing. Which... I forgot, does it do it on when you're on the opponent's side of the board or my side of the board? I'm not really sure. I think opponent, so it wouldn't have been useful now anyways, but still. Cards are important. A lot of options in our hand still. We'll be able to do Canuck Surge. Definitely have a full enough hand that I don't really need to play. Sworn Sister Lakian. Lakian. I'd be pretty happy if I can uh, secure two wins in S rank in this video because it's been hard for me to win a lot in a row at these high rankings because I'm playing good players and I'm not like incredibly good. I don't have so much experience as a lot of the other players, which mainly shows in my positioning skills and stuff. Like I also often always play into holy emulations and stuff like that and dancing blades, but I'm sure I'll get better as time goes on. Running out of time again. He has eight mana, so and five cards. He definitely has things he can play. He's probably deciding what he wants to do. Though. Interesting, destroying that now. There's Spectral Revenant. He deals some damage to my general as well. And then he's gonna use that to move up. Okay, so now we are scared. I can play the. Cryogenesis, which is actually perfect, because then I don't have to dispel that and destroy it. Yeah, I'll play the Cryogenesis, because this doesn't deal 4 damage back, which means I don't take 4 damage to my general, so goodbye you. And now I will play the... Yeah, I'm going to replace this. I don't really need it. Okay, now I'll play the Kinetic Surge. Oh, you know what? Probably should have replaced first because I could have drawn the Dancing Blades and that maybe would be a, would have been a little better cap to that. Oh, well. And I'm just going to attack his general, destroy this Reaper. I'm just not going to take any damage on my general here. I'm very, very scared. And I can play, uh, what do I want to play here? Crystal Cloaker isn't too bad. And I'll play this as well. Basically, holding myself up like that because one hit from a Spectral Revenant would kill my general. So I'm going to make it tough for him. He could still probably do it. He just have to have a three drop, three or less uh, drop, and a special revenant. So I think he could still win the game if he has one in his hand. He has a pretty good chance, very good chance actually, because he also has this bloodborne spell. So yeah, because rush actually makes you have great attack range. Destroys if he just destroys one of these two with his general, plays the shadow spawn. He has a decent chance of having one of them spawn here. Or he just plays a minion there and places his 6 attack uh, rush minion and just comes down to hit my general. So I'm sure there's a way that this turn to better secure my general in the location where it couldn't be hit with a special revenant, but this is what I came up with. <laughs> Little Y shape. Shadow Dancer. Okay. So. 
When this dies, I am unfortunately that goes back. When this dies, I don't get it back to my hand. So he's gonna heal up a bit. Maybe more than a bit. Shroud is gonna make that a little worse. I go down and he's holed up. Not so good. Uh I can chromatic cold here. I need to I need to dispel that to destroy that this turn. I can't just let it live. Well, Chromatic cold, I think I need to keep in my hand. I'll get rid of the Sworn Sister. So let's play the this. We may actually have a win because of this Saber Spine Tiger. Yeah, I won. I think. Did I win? I think so, maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be game. I don't even know if, uh... Well, let's just destroy this. How many things are gonna die? Just this, right? So he's gonna go up to seven health. And then I'll be able to kill him with a Saber Sign Tiger from four. And a... Oh crap, maybe I can't win. Let's go ahead and dispel this. Do I win? Crap, crap, I have to, I have to play this thing. So we get it? Yes, I pulled it off. Whew. <laughs> Almost was lethal there. Almost ran out of time. Well played, stack MK. I'll give him the tip. I've been forgetting to tip a lot, which I feel kind of bad about. Two wins. That last one was really close. First one was kind of close, too. 121. I know not very impressive, but I promise you I am trying to get better, and I'll try to build new decks. So thanks for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, sorry for the longer video, I know some of you guys like that, some of you guys don't, but uh, here it is. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time.